What's up, what's up, guys? Bitcoin Overdose here, your daily dose of crypto. I do overdose, so you guys don't have to. Definitely go follow me over at Bitcoin Overdose on Twitter, your mom's favorite crypto channel. And then click that like button, click that subscribe button down below to let me know that you guys watched this video. Now, guys, today my hair is getting longer. Bitcoin keeps going up higher. There's nothing new there. We're looking at EOS near the $5 point. If you guys didn't watch the last video, I did call that. We are headed right up to $5. I wanted to let you guys know where we're at in that. So we will look into that in a moment. And then all that and more, guys, we'll probably also check out the top 10 cryptos and just kind of get a feel for what is moving in and out, guys. There are a lot of changes. We're seeing at a move up towards the dollar this stuff is incredible so there's a lot to talk about let's jump right into it no further ado guys right off the bat here we're going to take a look at eos dumping a little bit off of 470 kind of expected i mean i guess you know people are going to be cashing out here we're gonna we're gonna see kind of a lot of different indicators to suggest though that this does keep rolling up if you guys are looking down here on the rsi guys the relative strength index um uh an indicator i love to use in crypto and i always change the length to about the 25 ema um it does help a little bit with when to really predict sell-offs if you guys are looking down here along the bottom um, i'll zoom in here you guys can see that we're a little bit overbought as of right now we're in like about the 71 range uh, meaning that we did need to take a little bit of profit here. But if you guys are looking on the daily, um, like this could keep going. In a bull market, typically, we go overbought about three or four times. So we're, we're looking pretty solid right now, guys. If you guys are looking even back here to like May and April of 2019, we went overbought once or twice in the $8 range. That is why I'm predicting we'll see $8 here pretty soon on eos I'm, I'm pretty impressed by just the, the current run if you guys are looking from our entry um at about 258 um right now i mean guys we're in like the 65 or 70 percent range as of right now um i expect this to go higher if we get into the 88 dollar range we'll probably see um about a 200 percent gain altogether 300 percent gain altogether so pretty impressive move um you know it relatively to just when we bought i mean below three dollars is a great entry on eos i'm very very excited very happy to have this as a bag i almost gave up on this project entirely um i found a bag of it from the days of old just recently too so i'm pretty hype about that i'm sorry i didn't make a video yesterday guys um i usually am here every single day it's bitcoin overdose your daily dose of crypto but Yesterday, I had a pipe freeze at my house. There was water everywhere in this little cross place, I guess. That's kind of like behind my room. But anyways, it did not affect anything that I was like, doing with electronics at all. So thankfully, no computer was damaged in this. If you guys remember last time I had a water pipe burst or moisture buildup in my, in my room, we lost a computer drive that was probably worth about four Bitcoin now, uh, probably three Bitcoin, but still crazy. Um, you know, don't even want to think about that one. That drive is encrypted, damaged. I don't think I'll ever get that one back. Um, that being said, I do have it, but you know, if anybody wants to crack that shit, bring it over to my house. We'll probably have to mine it for an hour or three or five or 15 years. So yeah, but anyways, it's encrypted moisture damage that computer out so this one's back in we got a brand new computer um you know from back in i don't know 2019 and we haven't had any issues yet thankfully so knock on wood guys prayers sent up but yeah anyways pipe break or pipe freeze yesterday couldn't upload i had all my stuff moved to like that side of the room and um we had to like end up heating it out and thawing it and yeah that was like a whole thing with the uh the tub not draining and Guys, I'm just happy to be back here today. And so again, sorry if you guys thought you missed a video yesterday. Click that notification bell though, so you do know if I go live or if I go uh, upload any video. But yeah, so we're looking at $8 EOS. Sorry to sidetrack so much there, guys. I do apologize. Uh, but $8 EOS is probably in the works here. If you guys look here, it's about another, what is that? 
60%, 50% up. So not really too far away at this point. Um, you know, we're, we're expecting to see that happen here pretty shortly. But yeah, $5 EOS, perfect call. I think we're about to see it today. Um, we're looking very bullish here on the four hour. If you guys are looking at these moving averages. So we have the seven and the 21 EMAs. The four hours, obviously that's 28 hours. And do the math on that, it's 84 hours. But these are definitely moving along pretty decently. Um, you know, it bounced right off the 84 hour uh, moving average. And yeah, I mean, shoot, the 21 caught or the seven caught right away. And it looks like it's headed up higher. If you guys are looking at like at um ethereum and like uh bitcoin right now too ethereum i want to mention we had a really good like trend line entry on this one a couple of weeks back and um this is pretty great i mean this is holding the alt season high and i i would say 2k soon 2k very soon on ethereum as well the continuation pattern on ethereum is incredible to watch it's a lot like the five minutes when bitcoin pumps a lot um you know we're, we're seeing the five minute ema or the five minutes on um local ethereum here hold pretty well too i mean we might get a dip we might see 1740 today um uh, by the retest though if that does happen i mean shoot but um yeah all in all it looks like it is heading up to a higher level here and um you know that being said guys like you just want to kind of be ready for anything here if if uh you know if, say we do reject off of 18.4 say it does look kind of like that um that double top that we saw on bitcoin not too long ago maybe we have a little bit more resistance up here but i think if we hold these lower lower end trends um we'll probably see this thing go a little bit higher so I'm, I'm looking guys i'm looking for 2k at here pretty soon as well just like five dollar eos uh we'll take a look at the king the big daddy the one that needs no introduction the biggest dick in crypto uh we're looking at 47.7 right now guys bitcoin heading up i mean shoot this is 50k material here i know everybody wants to hate but 50k isn't far away and i don't think that there'll be an issue with resistance there i think i just have that line as a psychological level i didn't think we'd see 50k this quickly guys but 3k to 50k is a hell of a fucking run um i just want to tell you guys if you held all the way through the bear market all the way from 20k back down to 3k back up to 14k back down to 3k or 4k you guys are the real winners here i mean i guess you probably should have traded in retrospect a little bit more but guys this is our first blow off top at 40k and um yeah i mean just look at guys that drop from 19k was nothing so if we see the same type of thing on s where it kind of dumps off of 1800 a little bit i would buy the dip um you know this is probably gonna 2x just like ethereum will it'll probably hit 2x that fucking top but i mean guys in retrospect this market has never really left the bull market i think it just lost some volume and then there were people holding it down on exchanges it's really nothing out of the ordinary but it's just crazy um you see three thousand percent run 80 percent dip and everybody flips out and i was right there along with everybody i i honestly think i'm just more scared about the tech not being able to compensate for the transactions per second that they actually needed on chain guys it takes like 10 minutes to send bitcoin right now um and you have to pay a pretty high fee for that so it's not worth it right now to even be sending money over the chain unless if you're sending large amounts that are not tracked by banks or that you just need to get around banks for but there's really not a need so i don't know uh, um you know I'm, I'm still in that same aspect like this thing should not be pumping as much as it is but it's gonna keep going it doesn't care about my feelings towards the market so just keep buying bitcoin and chilling you know what i mean anyways guys top 10 cryptos while i'm thinking about it hit that follow button hit that like button over on twitter as well guys bitcoin overdose at proton if you guys need me to get into anything but anyways bitcoin guys 47.7 ethereum right below that 1800 guys add a cardano taking the spot three 96 or 96 cents almost a dollar if you guys have held through ADA, i sold out unfortunately just not too long ago i 
I don't know you even know what to say about that one. I I held it for so long, guys. I broke even. I went over. I'm happy. I'm sufficed. I'm not gonna hit them all. We know that. Um, you know, just as long as you bat a couple of them in, you're gonna be good. Tether, guys, at a dollar. Four though now, top four. Um, Ada is actually over it by just a little bit. So this one could still be flipping back and then flopping back and then forth. But guys, just the market volume on um, Ada is insane. It's over XRP right now, but 52 cents on XRP looking good as well. Poke that back down to top six. Um, so yeah, we have 23 and 23, 9, 23, 8. So these are really close too, guys. Ada and XRP and Polka Dot, they're all within that range of being stopped out, you know, or being stopped around the, like top 10 coins. Stellar Lumens finally back into top 10. Doge is coming off those local highs. This looks pretty bearish. I would maybe dump Doge if it looks like the market at all. See, what I like about Doge is that it just trades with the stock market at this point. So the stock market goes up, Doge goes up. Simple as that. It's on Robinhood. Just traded on there. Bitcoin Cash, though, um, outside of the top 10, finally. Litecoin is at 188, guys. If Litecoin hits 2K, I don't even give a fuck. Like, I'm not going to buy it, but it, it is still going. Uh, Binance Coin, guys, 122, 134% on the week. What the fuck? Ada and Binance really two winners i just never really saw coming um synax is still going up too iota is even pumping this uh, this week and this morning 45 percent up on iota um so there are definitely gains to be had out here if you guys jump a little further we're looking at selena nine dollars last time to buy below 10 potentially um you know we bought in at five and we bought it at 250 or three on that one so not too bad um, FTX token keeps pumping. That's another thing, though. Uh, Zillica is still something I'm not going to buy, but this is probably going to end up like Ada someday soon. I don't know. Ethereum Classic running as well. Zero X running even better. So, guys, a lot of gains, a lot of things to talk about. I'm only going to talk about EOS for right now. Um, that's my biggest bag. It's not even my biggest bag. It's not even close to my biggest bag, but I love it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if that ends up replacing maybe ada or ethereum we'll, we'll kind of check that out here anyways guys bitcoin overdose here your daily dose of crypto i do overdose so you guys don't have to definitely go follow me over at bitcoin overdose on twitter your mom's favorite crypto channel and if you guys have not already clicked that subscribe button down below please do that hit that like button to jump up in the algorithm and most importantly, before I even ever let you guys go, I always have to remind you of these like five or four things typically, but look both ways before crossing the street. Only you can prevent forest fires, guys. Stay in school. Do not do drugs. Have fun. But most importantly, guys, buy Bitcoin. Damn.